Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 3rd November 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, designer and developer of Q trading systems and techniques. I used to work in IT, mostly in Singapore. Now I have retired and I am living in Thailand. I mostly trade stocks in the US market and also in global markets. You may contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com, Twitter page and also on the YouTube channel Trading Profitably. All of these are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I continue, let me go through the disclaimer first. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. After that, I will try to identify potential trading opportunities using complete 360 degrees analysis that is trying to find trades where the market strength, sector industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength are all aligned together. That was the last slide of the presentation. I will now continue with live system. I begin the commodities analysis with oil ETF USO analyzing it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template together I call this at a glance template because using this you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds two weeks ago I explained in the weekly market roundup how to take profitable trades in a sideways market. There I explained that in US oil when it was inside a range bound by the resistance memory trend line at the top, support memory trend line at the bottom, it was inside a sideways range and when price came to an edge of the range, in this case the lower edge and bounced up from the memory support line. You could take a sideways long trade or you could wait for the bull release signal and use that also to take a sideways long trade. You could take that using stock this ETF USO or using short put vertical. One week ago I explained that when price was around this level your trade would be in good profit you could exit partial position there was no reason to exit full position after that price has moved almost sideways it tried to go up tried to go down and close almost unchanged from a week ago your trade long trade that you took at the lower edge of the sideways range is continuing to be in good profit. If you are still holding on to the trade, you may continue to hold on to the trade. Will I suggest taking a new long position now? No, I will not suggest that. There are few reasons for that. One is the relative performance is tilting down, showing that it is underperforming the market. And the daily momentum indicator is remaining red that is bearish for four days the weekly momentum indicator is also remaining red that is bearish 
the momentum indicator includes volume in its calculation that is showing that though the weekly backdrop candle color is cyan bullish the candle shape is also bullish the Friday's candle is also overall bullish in shape as well as in color but under the hood there is not enough bullish pressure in terms of volume also in the daily chart prices inside the yellow direction line which is moving sideways and the white direction line which is moving in a downward fashion because of these reasons I will avoid taking a new long trade in oil right now and there is no short trade opportunity also because both the weekly as well as the daily candle colors are bullish there is no swing trade opportunity in USO right now gold ETF GLD if you watched my previous market roundups you would know that the last time I suggested a trade in GLD was a bearish trade based on this magenta candle that was a go with flow short trade setup afterwards when it came to this area I suggested exiting the trade with a small profit why because at that time it was inside a triangle pattern and it was near the tip of the triangle pattern the trade had a small profit it was going to break out of the triangle pattern but it was not clear in which direction so I suggested exiting the very short trade in court on hindsight that turned out to be a good idea isn't it because price went up and as of Friday's close it closed above the entry point of that short trade in this manner if you are watching the instrument you are trading carefully you are tracking that you will be able to know when your trade is going to work mostly and when it is not going to work and you may exit the trade with a small profit or maybe sometimes with a small loss what about now this week's candle color and shape both are bullish however if you look back you will see that it is practically moving sideways the relative performance is tilting down showing it is underperforming the market and though the daily chart closed higher on Friday it closed right below the memory resistance line because of these reasons you will probably avoid taking any long trade in gold and you will not take a short trade also because both the weekly and daily candle colors are bullish there is no swing trade opportunity in gold from the commodities analysis I now continue with the market level analysis that is the highest level analysis of the 360 degrees analysis the market broke out this week and I was probably one of the few traders who could anticipate the breakout I titled my last week's market roundup how to best time breakout trades and in that video I explained that the market was about to break out and you could start looking for breakout trade candidates using scanning programs I use the Q scanning programs to look for breakout trade candidates from one week earlier itself and this week the market already broke out this is S&P 500 ETF SPY the weekly decisively broke out of the watermark resistance level weekly backdrop candle color is bullish shape is also bullish daily also broke out of the watermark resistance Friday's candle color and shape both are bullish 
Friday we had high activity. Everything is looking bullish for this trade. Will I suggest buying SPY right now? No, because my style is not to chase price. It has broken out of the watermark level, that is great. If I was going to trade SPY, I will wait patiently for price to tilt down and then go up again, thereby giving me a swing low. That is a low risk entry opportunity. Right now, I will not take a long trade in SPY. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. This also decisively broke out above the watermark resistance in weekly. Weekly backdrop candle color shape both are bullish. Daily also broke out of the watermark resistance and Friday's candle color and shape both are bullish. It is bullish, however, that doesn't mean it has a low risk entry opportunity. Just like in the case of SPY, I will avoid chasing price in QQQ right now. I will not look for any long trade. And certainly there is no shorting opportunity as well. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA it also broke out in the weekly chart, broke out above the memory resistance. Didn't break out above the watermark resistance, the horizontal pivot level. On Friday in the daily chart also price broke out of the memory resistance. It hasn't broken out above this watermark horizontal resistance. Close to making a new all-time high, just little bit short of it. The relative performance is showing it is underperforming the market. If you are going to look for a long trade, you may be better off looking for that in SPY and even more so in QQQ, which is stronger than SPY as shown by the relative performance of QQQ tilting up, then trying to look for a long trade in DIA. By doing that, you will be applying the philosophy that buy the strongest instrument not the weaker one. Right now, I will not look for a long trade in DIA. Weekly is bullish, daily is bullish, so I will not look for any short trade as well. One thing you may notice that weekly volume is low. That is shown by the thin bar in the activity or volume panel. If you notice for SPY and QQQ, the same would be true. That is SPY, QQQ, DIA. All of these three market ETFs have low weekly volume, though they are breaking out. That is a reason for concern, but that doesn't mean that the market is not bullish. Market is clearly bullish. Even if volume is low, we cannot say that the market is bearish. Market is clearly bullish. What about the Russell 2000 ETF IWM? Let's check it out. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. Weekly backdrop candle color shape both are bullish. Friday's candle color and shape both are bullish. On Friday it broke out above this memory resistance, however, there is another daily memory trend line resistance nearby. Weekly also broke out of one memory trend line resistance, but there is another memory trend line resistance nearby. For these reasons, I will avoid taking a long trade in IWM right now. Here also, the weekly volume is weak. However, that doesn't mean market is bearish. Market is clearly bullish based on the price move. There is no doubt about that. That is my market level analysis. Market is clearly bullish and when that is so, you may be better off looking for bullish opportunities and avoid taking short trades. By doing that, you will be aligning your trades with the force from the market level. Sect 
first level analysis I am looking at the 11 sectors across 3 review periods the red bar represents this week's performance green bars performance of one week ago and blue bars performance of two weeks before that to get that this shows about one month of sector performance any bar to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week seven of the sectors went up these red bars came to the right of the zero line three sectors went down and utilities was virtually unchanged the sectors that went down communication services consumer discretionary and energy they are not defensive sectors at the same time the sectors that went up at least several of them information technology the best performer then materials financials industrials these all went up significantly and they are in non-defensive areas as well we don't see any information from the defensive or non-defensive nature of the sectors that went up or down overall looking at more sectors going up than down we have to objectively conclude that the sector level is also bullish how was it one week ago one week ago all the red bars came to the right of the zero line that is all the sectors were up does it mean this week's performance is bearish no these small changes from sectors going up to down from week to week is normal we have to objectively look at the balance of performance of the sectors and coming back to this week's performance we can again see that clearly more sectors went up and with bigger percentages than went down so sector level is also bullish market level was bullish sector level is also bullish more reason to look for bullish trades let me spend some time on the energy sector this week energy sector is down it is the worst performer how was it one week ago energy sector was up and it was the best performer by far one week ago it was the best performer this week energy is the worst performer went down by smaller percentage what to do in case of energy stocks in my view if energy stocks went up on friday that might give a buy the deep opportunity in the sector just as it is starting to recover from a very low point this sector performance graphs help you understand how the sectors are changing over time how they are rotating however that view is much clearer from the sector rotation and scorecard let me have a look at that the sector rotation scorecard is available in the rotation tool that i use before looking at the rotation table let me have a look at another sector performance graph that shows the performance over one day and day on friday that is one day performance energy was the best performer by far isn't that what i was looking for let me summarize again one week ago energy was the best performer by far then this week energy went down for the whole week however with a much smaller percentage that is for the five day period one week period and then on friday it went up strongly the best performer by far that is where you look for buying the deep opportunity 
in a sector that was weak for a long time went up, tilted down and went up again on Friday. Now have a look at the sector scorecard and heat map. Here I am looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 day, 5 day, etc. This scorecard and heat map shows which sectors are strongest now and also shows the sector rotation over time. Cyan color represents strength, magenta weakness. If I sort over 5 day period, you can simply double click on the column header. You see Infotech Healthcare are the strongest sectors. Consumer discretionary energy are the weakest sectors. If you are looking at the 5 day period, you are going to look for bullish trades in Infotech and Healthcare. You could also use the PACE column that shows acceleration deceleration. Acceleration is shown by cyan color. As the market level is bullish, you are only going to look for bullish trades. By doing that, you may focus on healthcare. It is one of the strongest sectors and also one of the most accelerating sectors at the same time. I mentioned about energy. Let me open up the latest videos. Energy was one of the best performers, second best performer over 10 day. It became the worst performer over this week, 5 day period. However, over 2 day and 1 day periods, it again became the very best performer. Earlier it was the weakest sector for long time. Tried to go up, tilted down and went up again. That is where, as I mentioned, you may start to look for buy the deep opportunity in stocks that were weak for a long time. By the way, the latest version of rotation analysis tool that I am using, sector industry rotation analysis, I can see not only the sector scorecard and heat map but also the sector percentage changes. The industry scorecard heat map as it was available before also and now the industry percentage changes also using heat map. Let's look at the sector percentage tab. Over 5 day again Infotech and Healthcare are best performers and we can even see their percentage changes. Energy is the worst performer and see earlier periods it was worst performer. The red color instantly tells us which was the worst performer for a long time and the green color instantly tells us that Infotech was the strongest for a long time and it is the strongest now also. If I open up the latest periods you again see that though it was weak for a long time it gained strength here over 10 day declined over 5 day but then went up strongly over 2 day and 1 day period that is on Friday. If you are carrying out a top down analysis then you may look into energy industries drill down into the energy industries you could look at the industries again you could look at the industry scorecard or you could look at the industry percentage. Yet another way is to directly jump to the stock tab and now the stock tab is showing only the energy sector stocks. They may be in different industries. As the sector was weak for a long time, it was one of the worst performers, it is possible to look for undervalued stocks. I can apply the smart filter and I am left with these undervalued stocks where the valuation is shown in cyan color. On top of that, I may also look for stocks with robust earnings growth. Here the latest quarterly earnings period is shown in bright green. That is they are having significant earnings growth in the latest quarter. 
I am left with only a handful of stocks. I can sort them over 5 day performance. Again, double clicking the column header, and I can see 1, 2, 3, 4 stocks went up on Friday by between almost 3 to 7.15 percentage. Those were significant percentage changes for a day, and you may now look for a technical buy setup in these stocks. Let me do that by opening the charts on Q Global Technical Trading System by clicking on the chart icon. First, I look at HP, the ticker code HP. The weekly displayed a bullish headwind, possible reversal signal one week ago, and this week it again closed with a bullish shape, bullish colored candle. It reversed at the watermark support level, created a double bottom as well. The weekly is looking bullish. The next memory resistance is some distance away. In the daily chart, there was this watermark support level. Price tried to go below that but reversed, creating a false downside breakout at the double bottom. Since then, price is gradually going up. Looking back, when this cyan color candle came, you could probably buy the stock using the go with flow trade setup that we use in Q system. At the right edge, again, we have a cyan color candle. The weekly is also cyan. It is giving a go with flow trend following long trade setup. On top of that, it went up with heavy bullish pressure on Friday. That is another bullish indication. Only concern is there is a memory resistance line. However, that is above the upper boundary level. We would book profit in the swing trade by the time price reaches the memory resistance. Technically, it is giving a valid low risk, high probability go with flow trend following long trade setup. Let me look at its fundamentals again. How is the fundamental overhaul? It has great valuation, undervalued stock, the best possible valuation score of 100. You may just look at the color, cyan color means it's undervalued stock. In the last three quarterly periods, it has fantastic earnings growth, all above 1000%. In the latest quarter, more than 4000% earnings growth. Revenue growth is also positive in the latest yearly period. Also the last three quarterly periods. Has a great dividend, 7%. Earnings is on 14th November. That is some distance away. We may safely take a swing long trade and exit the trade before earnings. On top of that, it has a short squeeze potential. It is very close to 52 week low, just 12 percent above 52 week low. On Friday, it went up by a significant percentage, more than 7 percent. In terms of fundamentals, the stock is clearly looking bullish in terms of valuation, in terms of earnings growth, in terms of dividend. Technically, we found a trend following long trade setup. What about its industry? We can check out the industry by clicking on the industry cog. The industry is oil and gas drilling and instantly from the scorecard we can see it was very weak earlier but now it is one of the strongest industries. Not only among energy sector industries, but among all industries, it is one of the strongest. Therefore, you have found a 360 degrees trading opportunity. How did you find it? You first analyzed the market. You saw the market is bullish. 
you analyze the sector level overall the sector level was bullish energy as a sector was weak earlier but starting to go up in energy sector this industry oil and gas drilling is one of the strongest now in oil and gas drilling the stock HP is undervalued with robust earnings growth great dividend technically it is giving a low risk buying opportunity all the forces from market level sector level industry level fundamental as well as technical level are aligned for a bullish trade that is what I call 360 degrees trading opportunity and they tend to be truly low risk high probability opportunities you may analyze the other stocks in the list that I found that is undervalued stocks with high earnings growth in energy sector for similar buying opportunities I regularly share such 360 degrees stock analysis both for the USA market as well as the India market in my traders forum saganandi.com let me review the latest post I submitted in the Indian forum I submitted it initially 12 days ago all based on live analysis not after the fact analysis I titled it this undervalued Indian healthcare stock is breaking out today that was 12 days ago what was my analysis at that time the industry healthcare facilities was going up the one day score was cyan bullish the pace column was showing that it was accelerating at the same time industry was strong in terms of valuation the stock ATRD Aster DM healthcare limited went up on that day by 6 percentage when I shared the post and it was an undervalued stock shown by the cyan color in the valuation score strong industry undervalued stock the last thing that I wanted to have was a proper technical buy setup and when I looked at the technical charts I found the weekly was breaking out above the memory resistance daily was also breaking out above memory resistance with bullish pressure that was giving me a valid breakout long trade candidate that is how I analyzed it and shared it in the forum how did it work out I followed up three days ago I initially shared the long trade breakout setup on this day after that price went up three days ago it went above the upper boundary level here that was my initial profit target and I exited the trade with profit as the stock was looking strongly bullish I didn't exit full position I exited partial position profit with discipline and I am holding on to the remaining position with a trailing stop in place so that the entire trade is almost guaranteed risk free from now on this technique of identifying undervalued stocks and then buying them with a valid trade setup technical trade setup breakout trade setup or headwind reversal trade setup or trend following go with flow trade setup etc with a valid technical trade setup gives you very high probability low risk trades especially when the industry is strong as was the case for Aster DM sometimes you may look for such trades from the inside tab in the sector industry rotation tool here you find the best performing and the worst performing stocks under various categories as a regular routine from time to time I look at the stocks in these different categories I tend to primarily focus on the best performing growth stocks for buy setups and also best performing value stocks if you look at Friday's data there are multiple stocks in the best performing growth stocks category that went up by significant percentages 
between 5.4 to 16 percent one of those stocks is CC CC in diversified chemicals industry in material sector went up by 5.7 percent if you look at its fundamentals we see that not only it has robust earnings growth over all the three yearly periods it has very nice valuation also undervalued stock with earnings growth in the yearly periods pays a nice dividend 5.7 percentage great earnings quality and a short squeeze potential fundamentally the stock CC is looking great what about its industry the industry scorecard instantly shows it was weak earlier but is one of the strongest in the recent periods it tried to go up in this period dipped a little bit and then went up strongly again giving a possible buy the dip opportunity at the industry level the industry is certainly strong allows us to take a long trade I mentioned that now you can see not only the industry scorecard and heat map but the actual percentage changes and if I go to the industry percentage tab you can see that over two day and one day it is performing strongly going up strongly and in earlier periods it was weak it is accelerating over two day period using the percentage performance tab as well as the scorecard tab you can see that the diversified chemicals industry is strong now that allows you to buy stocks and we already saw this stock CC is fundamentally strong the last step will be to look at its technical charts let me look at that this is CC using weekly daily at a glance template in the weekly it displayed a bullish reversal signal at this point since then price is steadily going up this week's candle color backdrop color and shape both are bullish the next resistance is far away in the daily also you had a bullish headwind reversal signal that could catch almost the very bottom then it created a double bottom or you might say triple bottom and the stock is going up again on Friday it gave a cyan color candle the weekly is also cyan relative performance is tilting up showing it is outperforming the market that is giving a go with flow trend following long trade setup in the stock while it is at price extreme or pendulum low this is in sync with the performance of the industry the industry was one of the weakest and just now it is starting to go up the stock is following the same pattern technicals are bullish giving us a valid go with flow trend following long trade setup fundamentals are great as well both in terms of valuation as well as in terms of annual earnings growth this therefore is again giving a 360 degrees trading opportunity and how did I identify the trading opportunity in the beginning I did that by looking at the stocks in the inside tab in the industry sector rotation analysis tool by looking at the best performing growth stocks you can often find very low risk high probability trading opportunities from this inside categories as well you could do a top down analysis or a bottom up analysis or you could identify trades from insights whatever be your approach you always end up finding trades where forces from multiple levels sector industry fundamental and technical are all aligned together let me summarize the market level is bullish no doubt about that SPY and QQQ 
are the strongest however I do not suggest chasing them you may wait for a pullback you don't have to trade only the ETFs when the market is bullish you may look for bullish stocks before going to the stock level I analyzed the sector level that was also overall bullish I identified energy sector as one that was weak earlier started to go up dipped a little bit and again went up strongly on Thursday and Friday that is where you may look for low risk buying opportunities especially in undervalued stocks I could identify such trade setups using top down analysis in this market you may look for only bullish trades and you may also use the insights from the sector industry rotation tool to identify such trades I identified one such trade in CC which is a high growth stock undervalued as well and it is giving a low risk technical buy point right now in this manner whatever be the market condition you may almost always find low risk high probability trading opportunities using the 360 degrees analysis technique you are most welcome to make use of the stock analysis trade ideas that I share in my traders forum Twitter page and also you may watch the videos in the YouTube channel all these are open to the public that is all that I plan to share in today's session I look forward to seeing you in my next session have a great week and trade profitably